Hi, this is Rob at artforkidshub.com, and I got my weird child with me. <laughs> what's your What's your name, weird child? <laughs> Chuckers. Chuckers. You are weird. That's all right. You get it from me, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are we doing today? We're going to explain what are these. Yeah. The, today's video is a little bit different. We're actually not... This isn't a video that's... Um, a, a typical one that we do and so it's not probably not for kids it's just for the parents um, and we're just gonna talk about boring stuff but it's cool information for the parents so what is this it's fix it's fixable spray for the painting yeah this or is a clear the painting. yeah for, or for drawing yeah this is a clear coat that we spray over a pastel drawing and it's called a fixative Yours is, uh, yours is a final fixative, and mine, the one that I used on mine was is called a workable fixative. And the difference is, is that uh, the final one is supposed to be what you spray on your drawing when you're completely done. And then the workable fixative is something that you can put on if you're almost done, but you want to save it and you want to keep working on it. Was there much different? <laughs> You're getting bored. That's why this video is not for kids. <laughs> um, did, did, you, did you see much difference? Checkers? Was there much difference between yours and mine? There were not really that much Yeah, difference. there was not much difference. The, the big difference was that we found was that, was that this one cost how much? Seven. $7.99 and this one $8.99 yeah so the biggest difference was the dollar though I do think you do get a better this is a better spray but this one this one is from Prismacolor and I like Prismacolor a lot better even though Krylon this Krylon one is a nice one too but Prismacolor they do a lot of things like um, that just have to do with art so they make these uh, new pastels which is a nice pastel and they do a bunch of other art stuff so they know what they're talking about but this is also a matte finish and so you can kind of tell on your drawing is it shiny no no it's a it is kind of dull yeah. which is good i think it looks bad i think it looks better when it's dull some people like it to look glossy and mine was was with the workable and you can tell it's almost exactly like the final one it doesn't smudge at all. Look at that. You do it really hard. Yeah, even really hard. It's hard to. It's difficult to smudge, huh? So where did we learn how to draw this? Um, from our other video. Yeah, we have another video that talks about drawing a sphere. So if you haven't seen this one, be sure to check our website at artforkidshub.com, and you can uh, learn how to shade a sphere and teach your kids how to do it. How how did we spray these? Do we spray them indoor or outdoor? Out. Outdoor. How come? Because, um... Uh... Is it smelly? Yeah. Yeah, it's really smelly. So you want to make sure that you do this outside in a ventilated area. And also, it's a good idea to spray them uh, vertically. Spray your drawings like this instead of horizontally. It'll come out of the uh, can better. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, how far away do you think you should be? Should you be this close or this far away? This far Too far. Away. Yeah, about a, about 12 inches. Yeah. Perfect. And then you just spray it back and forth. And you want to make sure you mix it up really well. Yeah, another tip too that you can help um, keep it from clogging is when you're done spraying it, turn it all the way upside down and spray it for just a few seconds. And that will clean the nozzle so it doesn't get all gummed up. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Some cool tips for the parents at home. You weren't too bored, were you? I was not bored. <laughs> well, should we say goodbye to YouTube? Bye. See you, bye. YouTube. Bye bye. Hi <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs>